Hi there folks. Well, I've decided to sell one of these uh, wind turbines, uh, the bare bones unit, um, due to popular request and uh, uh, really I just need to cash up for something else. So <laughs> um, without further ado, let me explain what it is. Um, those of you who've watched the channel already can recognize this as one of those Muddy's Mighty Mini Units, um, which uh, I think I have three more after this and really it's going to be two more because I'm going to keep one for myself and then I doubt that I'll make it exactly like this ever again. So uh, let me uh, kind of explain what I've done here and what, what you would be getting. Um, first of all, as a bare bones unit um, in review, there'll be no stator, no magnets, and no blades. Um, in fact, it'll just come with what you see here with nothing further. Um, it's a do-it-yourself to your turbine. This is not for the folks that are looking for one all complete and ready to go. That is, uh, that's a different uh, sort of deal, and there's lots of that on eBay. Um, uh, the uh, the noteworthy thing about this is um, it has a furling tail, or it accepts a furling tail, which is something you'll have to fashion yourself. I've left provision here for um, some holes for some limitation so that that does not crash into the blades, and so you'll have to fashion up something there. Um, there's a uh, the dimensions you'll see, again, I believe it's 9 inch diameter um, or 4.5 inches on center to, uh, to a 3 8 bolt to hold your stator. You'll have to make a stator mold and put all that together. Um, the hub, note that um, I've made these for uh, Missouri wind and solar turbines and I've recently scooped up a, um, I, I think they call that a KT blade or a Panther blade or a Pantera blade. Um, basically it's a Thermodyne. 33 inch or so blade and that will fit right on the end of there. That's 5 16 and that's 15 16 apart. I've flown these blades, they're great. Um, I've flown the Missouri blades, they're great, so you don't have to thumbs down me so much on that, but you can if you'd like. Um, but uh, anyway, they're, uh, they're inexpensive and plentiful, so uh, I went with that. And uh, at any rate, like I, said, like I said, grease zerk here on the furling tail, grease zerk on the yaw, and then there's a grease zerk for the, the radial ball bearings, the big ski lift bearings that are uh, pre-owned, if you will. Um, they are perfectly good, so you don't have to worry about them wearing out, really. Um, and uh, uh, again, you look through my other videos, you'll see how this is constructed, but essentially you've got an inch and a half OD here um, with, one in, with little spacers. Um, in between the bearings, in between here, in between the stators, and everything else. So this should have a half inch stator and half inch um, magnets is what this is designed for. So um, that's kind of something you may um, more or less want to consider. And let's see what else about the yaw. Now the yaw is basically this. Um, this is a pipe sliding inside another pipe. That pipe is about um, one inch and 50,000 so D. So if you want to put nylon or a uh, thrust bearing or anything like that, you'll have to go ahead and get that. Um, you do want something, at least nylon, there because uh, once you get this thing all together, it's probably going to be in excess of uh, 60 pounds or so. Um, I shouldn't say 60. I think it's 50 when it's all been complete with my other turbines, but uh, you're, you're north of 50 pounds. Let's just put it that way. You can put the wires through there. Um, uh, the jacking bolts, these wouldn't stay in. Make sure my camera's set right there. You see, uh, see that? That's for lowering, safely lowering this uh, rear stator down. So you have jacking bolts there. Those will come out, I just, but those will be included. And uh, beyond that, I think that's it. Um, the way I'm going to do it, um, in case you're wondering the price, these are going to be rare and scarce, frankly. And so what I'm going to do is just have a, um, what do you call it, a uh, unnaturally high price and then a make offer button on there. Um, if someone has to have it, they can just um, pick it up for the price that I've got on there, which, uh, you know, again, there's a tremendous blood, sweat, and tears that go into these. I, I doubt that I'll make it exactly like this again because it is a lot of work. But, um, but if you, uh, if you, it's worth something to you, then just go ahead and make an offer. The highest offer is pretty much going to take it um, because I've determined to let it go. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I uh, just figured I'd put up a video as the best way to explain things. And my uh, eBay ad won't be so descriptive. Um, I'll pretty much just lead him back to this video. And uh, thank you very much. Until next time, and good luck bidding.